I can't do it right now. Stay, stay. All right. Hold on, Chloe. What's going on? She thinks she can walk. She forgot she's in a bag. She's in a bag. I got Chloe. Uh, I got the. <laughs> In the bag. Yeah, get her deeper. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh my god. Just pulled out of the bag a little bit. No, no. Come on, go. Chloe, what are you doing? Sabrina, no, stay put. Just long enough to make up my shirt off. Both sides get to speak about it. No, 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 no. Speak about it before there's a vote. I got her. Good wee wee car. Lindsey Graham just uh, convened the committee and basically said, let's vote. Uh, shocked uh, Pat Lay, who, who's had three years of service uh, in the Senate, couldn't believe uh, what he was seeing. What was your experience of what happened on your committee? Yeah, I was there for the entire hearing, and it was one of the saddest things that I'd ever seen. Yeah. Senator Graham, as we pointed out, I, uh, oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't got it. Okay. Uh, he then supported the bill in 2013, comprehensive oh, that's reform. Hot. And now he's just gone, uh, when it comes to this issue, um, the full Trump, because what's oh happened God. here is we would like to work with him on, say, the issue mm. of seeking asylum uh, in those home countries of the Northern Triangle. Um, but instead, he's put a bill forward that we have some issues with, and instead of just working with us, he rammed it through without amendments. And I had some great no amendments. Idea. What you got temporary going here. status people that are here, domestic fine. violence victims, um, and we weren't able to offer any amendments. He, I think he broke four rules just to get it through the committee on a partisan vote. And despite how vitriolic the immigration issue is right now, there are people of goodwill that have worked together on this in the Senate in the past and want to... Whoa, whoa. Future, and that's why this was such a sad moment. Oh, thanks. Uh, the bill, I suppose, is now headed to the floor. I'm going to put these in there. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. It was oh, great okay. to be here. Thank yeah. you. And when we come I have back, no we'll idea. More on tonight's breaking news from the Kennedy family in Hyannisport, another tragic death in the Kennedy family, the 22-year-old granddaughter of Robert Kennedy and Ethel Kennedy died today. We will have more on that. And more Democrats now declaring they support impeachment, including one of the most senior Democrats in the House, a chairman of a very important committee, now supporting impeachment. He will join us. And back to our breaking news tonight, Trisha Kennedy Hill, a granddaughter of Robert F. Kennedy and Ethel Kennedy, died this afternoon. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Give her a ha 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 ha. Trisha Kennedy Hill was the daughter of Courtney Kennedy Hill and the granddaughter of Ethel Kennedy. She was 22 years old. Uh, the family released us today. This is so funny. How do you keep a straight face? joined now by Ann Thompson of NBC News, who is joining us by phone from Hyannisport. It's and such a shame. Lawrence, we, we know such a shame, the Kennedy. What's that? Yeah, no, it's not sounds like it. It is. Is it, is it a uh, mental illness or just stress of being a Kennedy? This one?
shoulder on her chest. And she also revealed in this, this paper uh, 